folks, this is the internals of a leg H lever lock. So uh, we're right at the very back of the lock. That's uh, lever five, four, three, two, and one. Um, so you can see the levers, and uh, in the background there, and I'm not sure whether you can actually see, but the in the very background is the bolt stump uh, and the V-notch of the bolt stump um, that needs to pass through the levers. Now, you can see that lever four there, you can see a fair chunk of that bolt stump, and that's because that's very much a, a low lift lever. Um, so we only really need to nudge that one up to, to get the true gates uh, aligned. Um, and what you'll also notice is between these levers, you can see the spacers or the washers that, uh, that obviously allow for key control, um, more accurate uh, um, placement of the bitting underneath the uh, the bellies of the levers. So five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Um, let's just have a little little play with this and see whether I can pick this um, while we're looking at it. So I've picked the tension up on that bolt stump, and you can just see the um, lever four there is actually moving as I pick the tension up. And I'm going to pull the pick backwards and forwards, so I've got clear access on all of the lever bellies. Let's just change the focus there a little bit. Come away, that's it. So let's go to uh, five. And if I lift five up, uh, you can see that five is, is lifting up, but it's not ready to bind yet. So the bolt stump isn't actually hitting that lever. Let's go to four. Four is pretty much the same. You can see that it's, it's held up a little bit, but it's certainly not gonna stay there. Three is up, but it's not going to stay there. Um, so let's move back to two and one. Now, I don't know whether you can see, but lever two is a much higher lift and one is an, a really high lift. So let's just get back to two. Two's binding a little bit there. One is up or well, going up. Two is not binding. One's not binding to. This is typical inside a inside a, a H lever lock. When you first start, you just have to nudge backwards and forwards until things start to uh, to actually make sense. So I'm just going backwards and forwards and giving them little lifts on these levers. So it feels like the back of the lock might be starting to bind now. There we go. So there's um, lever five, four, three. Two, that's one, two, and one, two. What's going to happen is all of a sudden they'll start to bind, bind up. Oh, there we go. So, I don't know if you heard that, but uh, something's just allowed the uh, bolt stump to move forward a little bit. And you can see that now, or oh, well, almost, things were starting to, uh, to bind up there. Um, there we go. Okay. What's happened now is the lock has jumped into anti-pick. So on the back there is uh, the bolt stump. You can see the V-notch on the bolt stump. Uh, and levers three, two, and one are all basically um, in, the, uh, and in their anti-pick notches. So let's go to uh, lever one, see whether we can notch that up. You can see I'm nudging lever one up out of its anti-pick there. Let's go two, see whether we can nudge two up. There's two gone up. Let's go back to one, just see whether we can make sure that's in gate. One, two, uh, lever three is still very much in its anti-pick. There we go. So five, five, four, three, Two is solid and one is solid. And the reason being, as you can see, is although they're lifted up, um, it looks to me like actually lever two has been overlifted. And uh, you can see that it's just catching on the bottom of the bolt stump there rather than the top. And, you know, there's no way of actually telling that. Oh, there, I just dropped down. How lucky are we? Um, I just gave that a little gentle nudge. So five, four, three, two, and one. And there we go we've now got the lock and you can see that is the bolt stump passing through the true gate in the levers there. 
uh, and as it comes towards us, you can see the V notch in there quite clearly. Um, so if I drop that back and keep going back, then of course the lock is going to reset. Bingo. Fascinating, isn't it? Seeing the lock being picked from, uh, from the inside. Right, what I've got here is the same lock. Um, bottom left hand corner there, you can see the, uh, the curtain rotating and you can see the levers being influenced by the bolt stump as it uh, hits the fence. And the interesting thing is there, um, you can see that it's hitting lever one on the right and lever five at the back first. So um, normally when you try and get a leg to um, pick, you need to start uh, by just looking for a lever to bind and you end up sort of working your way backwards and forwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to work my way backwards and forwards. Um, but uh, because lever one and lever five were the ones that actually were binding first on the camera, I'm going to lift those first. So there's five. And there's one. So, and now I'm going to work my way through the rest of the pack. So it's interesting that you can actually see the, the binding levers um, before before you started. Of course, you wouldn't be normally be able to see those. So there's one, two. I'm just cycling my way through these three, four, five, and I'm just hoping that that uh, each time I go through, I'm going to lift them up a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. And they're just starting to uh, bind now. They're, they're raising up and just starting to catch. So one, two, three, four, uh, okay, there we go. Now, what's happened is the lock has now jumped straight into anti-pick. So I can hear the other five is jumping around in its gate. I can hear lever four. So let's try three. Three is absolutely solid. And now it isn't. So you've seen there, I just lifted, literally lifted that straight out of its anti pick. So we've got five, four, three, all in gate. Let's try two. Two is rock solid. And let's try one. One is solid as well. So I'm going to go to two and see whether we can tease that out of its, um, tease it into its true gate. There we go. Two sounds like it's in its uh, gate. And I'm now going to go to one. And one is absolutely solid. So we're going to now just gently nudge one until it goes up. It's gone up. It feels like it might have gone too high. Let's just go back through the pack again. No, it wasn't. There we go. Leave the fiber jump down. Now, uh, you can see on the left hand corner there, that's the curtain rotating and the bolt is obviously being uh, being withdrawn as that rotates around. So, uh, so there you go. That's uh, picking from this angle. So you can see, if you look at the, uh, the tops of the levers now, you can see they're virtually forming the, the pattern that, that uh, you would get on uh, the, uh, the bitting on the key. So, uh, so there you go. That's uh, the view from looking on top of the levers. Uh, we'll do one more pick and this time it will be a more conventional view from the front. Right, so um, the first time I picked this, uh, I had a camera in this hole here, which was looking back towards the bolt stump. Um, second time I picked it, I had a camera down through where the latch is, looking uh, to the top of the lever pack. And now this is the more conventional way of uh, picking this. So what we're going to do is push the wire to the back of the lock. Uh, a little bit of tension, not a massive amount of tension on these, remember, because the, the bolt, um, uh, sorry, the, uh, the actual uh, curtain is quite soft. So I'm just going to pull backwards and forwards, make sure I've got the full run of the pack. And then I'm just going to cycle my way through these levers looking for something that's binding. So one was binding and one's now loose. Two is loose. Three, four, five feels like it could be a little tight. Let's just give five a little nudge. 
back to one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I can feel one is now starting to, uh, to lift. Five is starting to lift. So one, one has now gone up and the lock is now in anti-pick. So let's go back and have a look. Let's go five. Five is in gates, four, four is in gates, three is in anti-pick. Let's, let's nudge that up. So relax the tension. There we go, let that go up. Check the others, five, four, three, five, four, three. Okay, let's try two. Two sounds like it could be Let's just check three again. Is that three? Three, come on up you go. There we go. So five, four, three, two, and finally one. It looks like I'm having trouble here getting underneath one. Let's just see if we can give one a nudge up. There we go. So one's had a nudge up and we've now got the lock. So, uh, so there's your final pick, the final view of the pick. And uh, obviously we can't see what's gone on now inside that lock uh, this time round. But the other two times we were, so that was good. Um, when I fully throw this bolt, if you look in this hole here, you'll see, there we go. There's the, uh, the bolt stumps now starting to appear. Um, and the levers will drop down. And now the, uh, the bolt stump is now fully located at the back of the lock case there uh, so yeah great there we go that's uh, that's the three different views on picking this and uh, a view inside of, of uh, the best view inside that we can get of the uh, of the leg hope you enjoyed that cheers bye for now there we go just when you thought it was all over i just thought we should take this apart and just have a look from uh, an internal perspective so I'm just going to quickly whip these screws out nice there we go so uh, when I take this cap off you can see the hole here that I drilled in the cap and there we go uh, inside here um, the, the hole was positioned here and we were looking, basically, uh, we were looking down this gap here uh, at first when the bolt stump was in this particular position here. So the view that we were having was literally uh, obscured by these parts, by the, uh, the side of the lever here. Uh, and then as they were lifted, the view all the way through to the, uh, to the bolt stump was revealed. Um, so let's just see what we've got. So uh, that's a lever height of uh, number seven, which is the highest lift. And you can see the anti-pick notch is actually there um, before the true gates. Uh, and then we had a uh, height of three. So a seven and a three. Uh, then we had a four. Then we had a one, and one is the lowest lift. But also, what you'll notice about uh, lever height one on the on the um, H levers is there's no anti pick. There's nowhere basically for them to put the anti pick um, before the true gates. Uh, some of the older legs have the anti pick after the true gates where there's more space to put it. But uh, these more modern ones, they don't have it there. Um, take out the spacer. Out you come, there we go. And then of course, because we've got the ABA pattern here, we go back to a four again. Um, let me just take that out. And then if we just slide that across, uh, you can see the uh, the first view we had was looking across to here. And, and uh, the that is basically the bolt stump. And the second view we had was looking down through here, looking at the top of the lever pack, 
and then of course the last view was, was me picking it so, uh, uh, from the front as normal. Um, so you can see that what we were looking at was we were, we were looking along that slot there um, to see the uh, to see the bump stump. Um, and I said that lever one didn't need to be lifted much. If you have a look, when that's in its uh, resting position inside the lock, we were looking down and we could see the majority of the bolt stump. And uh, and sure enough, you can see that the, the lift on, on this uh, one lever is literally no more than that. So it's, it's a very, very small amount of lift on there. And then of course, uh, at the front of the lock, when we had the seven uh, in there, you can see that uh, that seven was completely obscure in the bolt stump. Um, and as it was lifted, it went into uh, anti-pick there. And then finally, this was lifted all the way up uh, to its true gates to allow the bolt stump to pass through. So there we go. That's the uh, the three views of the uh, of the leg, and uh, that was the lever combination we had in here. Um, so basically, we had everything. We had uh, the full range of heights on there. So seven, three, four, one, four was the uh, was the lever combination. Okay. Cheers and thanks a lot. Bye for now.